this woman destroy illegal aliens coming into Chicago and the people who are enabling the whole thing to happen. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about a woman destroying the so-called migrants coming into Chicago, Illinois, and the people who are allowing it to happen. The white liberal groups. There's a communist group called Revcom Corp. They put up a crazy sign. I got to read the sign right quick before we get to the video. Look at this sign. Okay, let me get a closer view. You see what this sign says? Black people hating on immigrants. Nonsense and worse from people who should know better. Okay, so basically they're trying to shame us for not liking the migrant crisis. Hey, there's a bunch of crime and violence and guns and drugs and human trafficking going on in our neighborhood. And they're kicking this out of our communities. They're taking over buildings, but we shouldn't say anything because we're black. And I guess we're in the same boat. I, I can't tell. Look, if I commit a crime here in this country, I get locked up. I go straight to the penitentiary to make bit rock to little rocks, but the migrants are breaking laws. And what do they get for coming into the country? Bogart and coming in illegally or whatever. What do they get? They get free rent for six months, two years, sometimes in Chicago. They get a bunch of money, $5,000, $10,000, up to $20,000 a month for a family they get. They get all kind of food stamps and they get, they get to work jobs. They do all of that. They're getting identification and ultimately they could become citizens and vote. So why would I before that. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and get into the actual video here. I will link to it in the box as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. You don't hang no signs about black people hating on immigrants. Because black people ain't got no reason to hate on no immigrants. Oh no, but the immigrants got we no reason to hate on We everything y'all are in this song. Let me tell you something. You hit them signs down. Anytime that Arnold and Lawson and Silverstein can, and what's that other? See your low here and low talk pen. about how they should get a hate crime bill because swastiks was in Ziploc bags in their community. They hung this in our community. We want it off the poles. You know, that's, that's a really good point. So uh, from what I heard, she's talking about some of the council members or whoever talking about they want a hate crime bill because there was what swastikas in a Ziploc bag, some kind of racial thing that was um, aimed at them and their community. So you want a hate crime bill for that, but this right here is hateful. Why are you making, why are you posting these signs in the black community trying to shame black folks for being against the so-called migrant crisis? Okay. That's, that is cause for a hate crime bill as well. If what happened to you guys with the Ziploc bag was a hate crime bill worthy thing. We want that to be the beginning of a hate crime and that organization which is a white liberal organization like in the words of Malcolm X who told us what that the white liberal is the worst enemy yes, yes, yes. and he is America. coming up in here acting like y'all representing some social justice say that but social all along say all that. you're doing is trying to use black people say to that. find a reason to make some money say let that. me tell y'all something over there we're done the Democratic Party is done. Y'all gonna abuse us. They don't, they don't appear to be very moved at all. They don't really care. And you know what? At a certain point, what she's saying is correct. But I hope that people are listening and I hope people vote accordingly. If you vote for the same old people, they don't even really care. You say whatever you want to say. I'm not going nowhere. So, so what? So I hope people are listening and they do the right thing. Vote accordingly. Do not vote for people anymore. They got to get up out of there. Us. They get to abuse the black Americans. You leave the Democratic Party. Do just like Please. RK Jr. Just do like that Tulsa lady. You better get up out the Democratic Party. Save yourself. Save your families. Save your dignity. Save your jobs and save your seat. Because if y'all don't, we coming for your seats. We ain't taking this no more. We ain't taking no right. this from a bunch of people who have broke into the country and now have completely broke the city, have completely broke the country, have completely disgraced the United States 
of America. America. Now, before she continues, um, broke the country in more ways than one because there was a study that was put out by congressional Republicans that said, and I and I've said this before, but I've said it incorrectly. What I said before was since summertime twenty two up until right now, we've spent four hundred fifty billion dollars. But no, 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 that's actually every year. That's yearly. That's one year. We've spent four hundred fifty billion dollars on the migration crisis in one year. One year, half a trillion dollars. Oh, they're coming to work, ABL. Well, why do we got to spend so much money on it? They come in and being productive. Why do we need to spend so much money on so-called productive people? Make that make sense. But I digress. America is a disgrace. And for us, oh my God, for the solution, you give us a fake, black, tackling hand of a candidate with a vice president that talking about he want to put tampons in the boys' bathroom. And oh, we got to do this. This the number one function of a president is to be the commander in chief. You tell me anything about a Carmella Harris that looked like she could protect this country after y'all just sat up here and they get her overridden with a bunch of illegal immigrants. Y'all just sat up here and put America's hands in all kind of wars. And you telling me a tampon man that ran from duty don't even know what his rule was. Carmella Harris, who don't know what race she is, gonna protect this country? The devil is a lie. Y'all better keep some signs down. Yeah. yeah, take the signs down, though, because this sign is crazy. Okay, and it's a white liberal communist group behind it. Again, Rev, Com, Corp, Shy, they're the ones that put it up. Now, this is the, the sign. I'm going to just come back to it. Then I wrap it on up, put the bow on top. The sign is insulting. Listen, we should know better. Like, what, 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 that gotta, what does me being black got to do with anything? Okay, because look, I know how to follow the law as well. I'm not going to be out here just thugging and drugging and carrying on because number one, I don't want to do that. But number two, I'm a law abiding citizen. Okay, so I think everyone who's in this country within our borders should also be a law abiding citizen. And by nature of someone being here illegally or bogarting the way in the system, not having citizenship. They're, they're not doing the basic thing, which is to be a law-abiding citizen. You're not a citizen, and you're not law-abiding, especially when you're bringing in the gangs and everything else that comes south of the border. Trend Agua, which is in Chicago as well, the same way they take over apartments or whatnot in Aurora, Colorado, doing the same thing in Chicago, trying to do the same thing in New York City, and they're going to do the same thing wherever they go because as I close, I want to say this. What you have happening is just unfettered flow of people to wherever they want to go and you have no idea who they are venezuela a lot of these south of the border countries are experiencing very low crime rates why because they just empty their prisons empty their mental institutions empty their drug rehab centers and send them over here okay that's a great way to reduce crime that's a great way to reduce the strain on the budget by housing these people in prison and trying to take care of them send them to america Okay, the border's wide open, why not? We'll just do the Cuban boat lift all over again. Or what they say? They flush the toilets of Cuba upon America. The same things happen again right now. And me being black is completely irrelevant to that obvious point that's being made. It's irrelevant to a practice that should not be happening. Period. I don't care where they come from. They can come from Africa, Europe, Asia, Antarctica, Mars, Jupiter, the surface of the sun. It doesn't matter. They shouldn't be doing it point blank period. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What do you think about the woman's um, talk about the migrants? You think she's on point, off point? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. She's 100% on point. But again, the main thing here is we got to vote right. We can say all of what we said during this city council meeting or whatever it was. But we need the action to follow it. We need the the actual, it, it's got to be something else other than just that. People got to take what she's saying to heart. They got to listen and they got to vote accordingly. If you don't want the migrant crisis to continue, vote Trump. It's simple. It's just that simple. 
you talking about, oh, he's racist and all kind of dumb stuff from the mainstream media. They'll tell you anything. They will sit there and straight up lie to you with a straight face. The same way they did with Hunter Biden laptop. We saw this guy on a laptop smoking crack, beaming this guy. What they say? Oh, that's fake. 53 intelligence officers all said that it was Russian misinformation. When we saw this guy on camera smoking crack, I mean, they will lie to you and tell you anything. At a certain point, you got to just observe what's happening with your own two eyes and make your own decision rather than allowing the mainstream media or anyone else, even me, to make that decision for you. Do your own independent research, figure out what's going on. And if you do just a little bit of digging, a teeny bit of digging in a place like Chicago, you'll see what's happening with the migrant crisis. And it does not help you at all. And don't be ashamed into saying anything. And, and, and don't be ashamed into keeping your mouth closed because you're a black person or something else. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share. And subscribe. Peace.